Hello everyone, it's Lisa from To Create a Website. Finally, 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 I am creating a CSS tutorial. And I've talked about it a lot on my site. If you don't know CSS, you are really at a huge disadvantage out here because CSS basically allows you to update your entire design by just updating one file. Rather than opening up each individual file and changing the font, changing the color, changing the background. You can do everything from this one file. And I'm going to teach this tutorial like I wish CSS had been taught to me. One reason it took me so long to grasp CSS is because I guess I don't know I was reading the wrong sites, um, but it just took me a while to really learn the language. And maybe it's just because I'm not a programmer, I don't know. But I am going to try to teach this tutorial the way that I think makes the most sense for someone who doesn't know a lot about CSS or anything about CSS. So let's get started. The first thing I want you to do is to create a folder just for this tutorial and you can put it on your desktop. So you're gonna right click here, go to new folder and we're gonna name this folder CSS tutorial. Okay, And in that folder, let's open it up, we're going to go right click new and then down here text document and we're gonna name this style.css this is our style sheet right here the style.css and we're gonna right click again new text document actually it's off the screen so let's make sure you can see this right click new text document and this is going to be our index, our home page, so index.html. So make sure you have those two files. This is going to be our website. We've got a folder called CSS Tutorial, and inside we have two files, index.html, the home page, and style.css. Okay, now we're ready to start creating our style sheet. And remember, the style sheet, the style.css file, that is the file that's going to govern the entire design of your website. And the way I like to think about creating this, before you even start, think about how many sections or containers your site will have. So for this example, let's say the site is going to have five containers or five sections. That's the header, the footer, the left nav, the right nav, and the body. So on your style sheet you represent sections of your site by using the pound sign so we're gonna say header left nav right nav body and footer these are the five sections for your website now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause it I'm gonna add some um, text here and I'm gonna come back and explain it the reason why I'm doing that is because it will save a lot of time rather than having me write everything out here so open up your style.css file and section off the sections for your site so if you're not gonna have a right nav you can leave this out you can just have the four sections so do that and then I'll be right back okay now what I've done is I've opened up my index.html page and I've created a basic structure for an HTML page. So at the top here we've got our open HTML, our head, our link href which is very important. You have to have this link in your page. Any page that's going to use your style sheet needs to have this link or this line because it will call up the style sheet. So notice the name of our style sheet is style.css, so that's what I put here. Now, if your style sheet is located in another folder, then you would need to put folder, whatever the name of it is, slash style.css. So this path here is relative to wherever your style sheet is located. And since my style sheet is in the same folder as my index file, that's why I don't have any slashes or anything here. So now we've got the body. So here's where our page starts. And you notice I've got div ID equals header, div ID equals left nav. Anytime in your style sheet you use the pound sign, sign, excuse me, for your for the sections of your site, your IDs, you have to call those up in your page by using div ID equals whatever you named it. And you don't have to name your styles these names. You can name it 
you know, fun 5000 if you want to. Just make sure you use that same name when you, you when you call it up in your web pages. So, this is our web page. This is basically the foundation or the structure of your website. So, if I was to look at this website in a browser, this is what it would look like. Now, what's wrong with this? There's there's no header, there's no real left nav. Everything is just lined up, you know, in a straight line. Why is that? Well, because in our style sheet, we haven't told the browser how to position these sections. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to tell the browser what to do with the header, how big to make the header, where to put the left nav, where to put the right nav. So hang on and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now you can see I have filled out the style sheet. Now the style sheet has some meat. So it's telling now telling the browser how to display the elements that we set up earlier. One thing I did add that I forgot to mention, you need to give your site a container. See this here? You definitely want your site to have some kind of container because that's what's going to house your site. So in your index.html file, as you can see, I've got my content surrounded by this container now. So I have div ID container and then it closes way down here and I have my other five sections inside that container. So in the style sheet, now you had to give the container some dimensions. So the container is 900 pixels wide. That's how wide I want my entire site to be and then everything is inside the container. So now we've got our header. Now before we left, remember the header didn't have anything. It was just pound header. But now I've given it some attributes and pay attention to the punctuation here. You have to remember to use the right syntax with CSS or this won't work. So we've got this open bracket here. I'm not really sure what the official name for that sign is. I think it's a bracket. I don't know. But um, you definitely want to open it here. You have your attributes in the middle and then you close the attributes here with this end bracket. So with our header, we made it 900 pixels wide by 100 pixels high same as our container 900 wide and we have a background image and while I was gone I created another folder inside of our CSS tutorial called images and I created a quick little image in Photoshop for our header so in our style sheet I'm telling the browser that we want our header to have a background image and a border bottom of two pixels so let's check out our site now now here's the background image the header that I created and here's that black bottom border that I mentioned in the style sheet so we've given our header some style let's move on to the left nav it's floating to the left very important so the browser knows to move the left nav area on the to the left side of the page here it is over here it's got a width of 140 a height of 400 and this is the background color if you don't know your hex colors or if you need help generating hex colors you can use any graphics program like Photoshop or you can go to my site I'll put the link up and I have some hex color tools there same goes for the right nav float to the right gave it a width gave it a height gave it a color and I gave it I didn't mention this on the left nav but notice I have border left one pixel dashed so let's go back to our site see if you look here closely there's a dashed border on the left side of the right nav and on the right side of the left nav I did that all with the style sheet and then for our body we've got 620 pixels I didn't really define anything for the body so this is our body here and then for the footer it's important for your footer you always say clear both this tells the browser to clear the clear the left and right nav section so the footer automatically goes to the bottom of the page and then I gave the footer a background color of this so it's amazing what you can do just these parameters right here turned our boring page into this so that's all for this first section of the tutorial when we come when I come back I'm gonna show you how to style your links and paragraphs and whatnot so stay tuned for part two bye bye